You lucky bastard. What's up, my pilots? Angry Poncho here. We're back playing Skyrim. Every single time I want to say Pokemon Platinum Ponchlock, and I don't know why. I do Skyrim three times a week, and I like to Pokemon Platinum Ponchlock twice. So I should be more likely to say Skyrim rather than anything else. In this episode, we are going to kill uh, Anorith, a Pokemon, Maraj da Dibda, and Dekas. So we have a shipwreck, and we have a merchant, and we have an archer. I'll have to go for the archer near Whiterun first. He probably is going to be a weakling, and we can snipe him from afar and hopefully get a 1-8 KO with our new silent casting and three times damage on sneak attacks with the bow. How's everybody doing this fine? It'll be Wednesday afternoon when you see this. Making it the night before. I had a lovely day today. It was uh, a glorious afternoon for me. I uh, managed to get in both cardio and weights in my workout today, and that's always a good thing. I, I feel like uh, when I when I heard about like the whole idea of runners high back in the day, I always what I don't remember how he got there. Why don't I remember you, sir? Did did I kill him? Did I? What? I have zero recollection of killing a hunter right there. That is so strange. I would have taken the gold and stuff. No, I didn't. There's no way I killed that guy. I would have. I would have taken his stuff. Well, that's weird. It must be a quest thing or something. Like, can someone explain this to me? Did I kill him and forget about it? Because I mean, I don't often just snipe NPCs for no reason. I mean, I do, but <laughs> you know. Not random hunters that don't even have names. I mean... So is that a quest or something? Or is he just dead because he got too close to the Dark Brotherhood place? I don't know. Maybe that's what happens to you if you get the password wrong on the door. Take, it takes your clothes off, kills you, and throws you out in the street. Alrighty then! On that happy note, let's go up to Whiterun. Yeah, so I was talking about... Uh, oh, I should have gone to the stables. Oh well. I'm talking about Runner's High, and it's supposedly this rush of endorphins that you get late in and so shortly after, uh, like, an extremely, uh, I don't want to say exhausting, but, uh, difficult, I guess is the word, but there's a better term I can't think of at the moment. Uh, it, essentially, when you really are ex exerting yourself, uh, your body responds with what is essentially a survival. Is he in town? Is this somebody I know? This is weird. I don't remember... Oh yeah, he's the guy who sells the meat in this town square! Oh, well, that's fine. As a vegetarian, I don't mind at all sniping this random meat mongrel. Meat mongrel. That should be the term for people who eat meat. Usually people just say omnivore, but I think meat mongrel is much more offensive. We should start using that. By we, I mean everyone. Everyone should start referring to themselves as meat mongrels, unless they're vegetarian. In which case, they can say vegetarian. Or vegan, or whatever. And don't you even start with that pescatarian shit. <laughs> Fish is meat. Don't give me that shit. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. <laughs> can I get over this wall? I'm sure you can. Ah, all right. Well, that's not going to be as easy as I thought if I can't snipe him from that far away. But I think I killed... Uh, it wasn't Heimsker. No, it wasn't... I don't think it was Nazim either. It must have been a different file. I killed somebody from over way over here. Yeah, it doesn't work fine. Actually, I might just be remembering the last time I did this quest. I wish I could talk. I wish I had talked to him before this quest started, so that I would understand. Really, I have a. Well, no, I don't know. I have a bounty, but I can still travel. That's interesting. All right, let's head on to the next place. He's done. How about the merchant next? These random killings are just too easy. That's interesting. I have a bounty added to me, but I'm still able to travel, which means that I was witnessed, but the guards aren't pursuing me. Strange. Anyway, what was I saying before this? Yes, runner's high. It's a rush of endorphins, which are these chemicals that your body can release in survival situations to numb pain. And it's it's triggered by the exertion of your body in your exercise. So if you exercise enough, your body thinks that you're running from a tiger or something, and it gives you a rush of endorphins in order to keep you from feeling the pain in the bottoms of your feet or in your knees or whatever. So that you're able to better run away from that tiger or whatever it might be. Oh, is he just gonna be right over here somewhere? It looks like that we're getting close already. The arrow's getting larger. 
so it's so the effect is when when you don't actually have pain in your knees or, or in your feet or whatever because we have you know tennis shoes. <laughs> uh, the runner's high happens because you get what is essentially a shot of painkillers and you don't have any pain, so you feel really nice. And I, I'd always thought it was just sort of, a, you know, an urban legend, an old wives' tale, what have you, that runners say because they just feel so damn good about themselves from being able to run long distances. Which I've always thought it takes just a little bit of insanity to want to be a long distance runner. Alright. Oh man, I, you kidding me? I can't even tell which one I'm supposed to shoot. You see the one skinning? Let's see if we can hit his leg. No, that was too low. Let's try a little higher. I think he's the one at the skinning board. Let's see if I can hit him on the foot. <laughs> We're gonna get a 1 8 KO from hitting him in the foot. Right, let's just step to the side a little bit. Oh, he's moving. Is that? Or is he? What? I don't even know who I'm aiming at. Ugh. All right, we need to identify this guy. Let's let's uh, what's the word? Case. Let's case the joint. Let's scope out our target, shall we? I gotta remember. I gotta be able to recognize him from farther away. Oh, he's sitting down. Okay, he's the one sitting by the fire. Hey, buddy. One can see forever. No, you can't. You can only see for about uh, six miles on a clear day. That's in the real world, though. I'm not sure about Khajiit eyes. They can see in the dark. Maybe they can see forever. All right, so there's that's him sitting by the fire right there. All right, here we go. Oh, that was nice. Target's gone. Oh, I'm wanted again, but I can still travel. So freeing. That's what that's must be what it's like when when when. <laughs> that's just what it's like being Batman. Something you say something badass, and then people turn around, and all of a sudden you're gone. Well, all he really did was step around the corner and fast travel. That's all there is to it, man. Yeah, so the runner's high I always kind of thought was an urban legend. Until I actually experienced it. And it's not so much... I mean, they say it's a high, but it's not like... I don't think it's actually anything like doing drugs, because if that's what doing drugs feels like, they are way overpriced. Uh, <laughs> damn. Uh, it's, it's not really... Maybe I don't have as much, because it's not like I've run a marathon or something. I just, you know, and then a few times that I've gone, you know, hiking for eight hours at a time or whatever, and you just get that, to that level of exhaustion that actually feels good. I'm not sure if that's quite the same thing as runner's high, but I, I, I do know for sure that after I get a significant amount of exercise, I, I do feel strangely energized. Like, I should be tired from working out, but I don't. I, I feel like I have more energy. I feel like that must be a side effect of it. Or maybe it's just that my heart rate's actually up and my my body's like, hey, let's do things. Yeah, here we go. I don't know. But the point is, <laughs> the reason I talk about all that is to finish the story, which is that uh, after I... I'll take my glasses off so I can rub my eyes. So if I walk off a cliff, don't blame me. Was that lightning just then? Oh, man, I can't see. I can't see anything. Where am I going here? This is going to look really bad in the recording because I can't see anything. I, the screen looks all white. Let's put my, put my glasses back on. Oh, I almost walked off a cliff. Sure enough. <laughs> okay. I put my glasses on just in time to not go off that cliff. Wow. Okay. Perfect. He's somewhere over there. Who's ever going for here? It's yeah, a guy in a shipwreck. That's right. I don't need to know the details. Just point me towards him. I'm always careful when I come down these kind of places because you can fall farther than you think you will and get killed by the fall, or you can land on top of an ice tiger, which I guess is the snowy saber cat, whatever they're technically called. Yeah, so the point of that whole story was to say that after my workout today, I felt really good. Because it was about twice as much work as I usually do in my workout, so... I felt really energized afterwards, and it's it's always so strange to me. It seems completely counterintuitive, and yet there it is. Oh, there's a fire over there. Something tells me he is sitting right over there. If he Is, is he going to get mad and attack us when we walk up, or can I... I'm an Argonian, I could just swim over there. People were telling me in the... Uh, warehouse quest when we followed Gul Gulamai that I should have just swam across should have just swum good lord should have should have just swum it's swum right I always have to question that I can never can I never can tell because neither one of them sounds right in my head uh, that I should have I, I okay I swim I swam should have swum yes yeah 
Uh, so I, I always, I, the crew told me that I should have, should have swum across the. Whoops, that's not how you scope in. Should have swum across the water rather than going around the edges. And did I? What did I just hit? Oh, we had a statue of Debella next to his bed. Okay, I just knocked over a statue of Debella rather than actually killing him. That is a Debella statue, right? Sure enough. Oh, did I just? What? Oh, it's by his chest. It's like who sleeps with a? Freaking bear trap by their bed. Yeah, he's got nothing. That's yeah, just like probably like everybody else. You can steal the gems and things. You're not gonna get a whole lot out of these folks, I don't think. This guy's got a camp up here by himself, so kind of getting the feeling he was on the run or something. And then whoever was trying to kill him just said, "Ah, I'm not gonna go up there in that snow and try and kill his ass." End up camping at his camp overnight after I kill him, get eaten by a bear or something. So they just called the Dark Brotherhood in to do it for him. That's my that's my thoughts at least. And now we can report back to Nazir. But yeah, what was I? Oh, I was almost finished what I was saying, and now I lost it. Damn. Oh, what was it? Oh yeah, people were saying I should have should have swum across the water there, uh, because I'm an Argonian and I could just go underneath the water and swim all the way across and not have to worry about coming up there or anything. And the reason I didn't do that is because I didn't even remember that I was an Argonian. I I got so used to playing as uh, a Dunmer in Morrowind, which was freaking sweet. We all know that it's awesome being a Dunmer. Uh, that I, I forgot that I was even playing as an Argonian in Skyrim, which I think is sort of a sad fact. You know, it, it would be nice if, rather than having, well, first off, it'd be nice if the random dialogue was actually put into proper cutscenes. That would be great. Because the way it is now, you have to turn your head around in order to be able to hear what everybody's saying. And then half the time they they talk over each other and it doesn't even work. But another benefit of putting in proper cutscenes. Whoa! Look at the frame rate. Wow. Another benefit of proper cutscenes uh, would be that you could show the player's character, and they would have a sense of identity. Because if you have I not gotten this word? Oh no! It just glows forever on after that. Or does what? Why was it glowing just then? I don't think it normally glows all the time. Only glows when you get it. That's strange. Maybe another Dragonborn was just here and got the word. Should ask people about that. But yeah, another benefit was maybe that you could see people because how often do you go into third person in Skyrim? The answer is remarkably rarely. Uh, and then when you do, it's usually only for a second or two. Yes. I don't know anybody who actually plays the Elder Scrolls hmm. games in third person oh, like this or like like that or school. whatever. It just it sucks. It makes combat happen. suck. So nobody does it. So you never really see your characters because you're in the you're in first person all the time and you lose track of even what race you are. Hello, Didn't Nazir. He taken care of that layabout Dikas yet? He's dead. Personally, I've always found Argonians to be incredibly unpredictable opponents, especially near water. Not when they're sleeping. In any event, nice work. Here's your payment. That's not like I couldn't follow him. And I got a Maranabara Hodo as well. Ah, well done, well done. Those caravanners can be an elusive bunch. Takes a fair bit of stalking to take one down. That's true. But then, that's half the fun, isn't it? I had to walk up and mark him before I could get him. I can tell which one he was. Indeed. And I also got An 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 Anariath. Ah, so the hunter came to know the fear of the hunted, hmm? Not for long. Your payment, my friend. Well done. Oh my god, did some, like, vegan perform the Black Sacrament in order to get Anariath killed? That would be crazy. I bet you that's what happened. Although, I, I think very few of the Dark Brotherhood quests are actually compelled that way. Are there any more contracts in Zir? Just one right now, actually. What? I need you to eliminate an old woman named Agnes, a servant in Fort Greymoor. What? A servant? Tell me about Agnes. She's a maid, old and feeble. Mm. But with this contract, it's much more a matter of where than who. What? Your political affairs are your own, but any allegiance you may have in the ongoing war could very well affect your access to Fort Greymore. The war's not ongoing. It's over. So what? What should I? What should I? Tell me advice. Slaughtering the emperor's cousin at her wedding. Those guards will be out for blood. Wouldn't surprise me if the crowd jumped in, too. Oh, that's the other quest. What are you even telling me that for, man? 
All right. Happy hunting. I don't know which faction it is that's in charge of this fort, but I think we'll find out very quickly when we arrive. This might be a long video now, but I'm not sure. What do you say we change topics now that we've changed quests? What should I talk about next? Pokemon? Let's talk about Pokemon. I always want to say Pokemon Platinum Ponchlock when I start these videos anyway. So for those of you who haven't heard, I'm uh, planning on making my own Pokemon ROM hack. And I'm going to make some huge changes to the game. Uh, not the least of which is like uh, removing critical hits, putting in a Pokemon of every possible type combination, and removing the, the traditional notion of gyms in replacement of something else. Uh, what? Now he's doing the limbo! What is... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have no words for this. Kill Agnes. Where? There's nothing there. I think it's sending me to the wrong place. I've had that happen before, actually. Let's target the quest and then... Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. We'll walk from the western wall, shall we? Yeah. Oh, you know what? I bet since we've completed the, the uh, Stormcloak Rebellion questline, this fort will certainly be full of Stormcloaks, right? Because we've basically filled all of Skyrim with Stormcloaks. So hopefully we'll be able to walk right in and kill Agnes. So... He, he, when he said it was a matter of where and not who, I assumed he meant I had to kill her in a certain part of the fort, but I guess that's not the case. I guess it's just the fact that I have to get into this fort in order to kill her. Uh, which I mean, wouldn't be that much of a challenge, honestly. I don't think it's seeing past the guards is very hard. Hello, sir! Stop! Right there! Well, it's not! What? Oh god, did I... Oh yeah, I have a thousand bounty from killing Anareth. What do you want? You have quite the bounty on your head in Whiterun. You pay me, and I see that your name is cleared. Oh. I ain't got that much money, fool! Ain't nobody got time for that. Never should have come. Oh, he doesn't even have anything else to say. He just starts killing us. That sucks. Yeah. Alright, we'll run. We'll he's fast. Wow. Or he's strong. I mean. Oh shit, he's fast too! Oh no! Oh, I did not see this coming. Okay. Health potion. Poison of the bow. Cure it. No, it's gone. It's not cure diseases. Where are my weak magic or my weak healing potions? Do I have any left? I guess not. We'll go up to regular healing potions now. And I'm gonna juke him out! Oh, right past him! <laughs> Glitz right by. Okay, I think he's probably sprinting after us, isn't he? Yeah, he's fast. Wow. Okay, can I get a stagger here, please? Ah, oh, there we go, that's what I needed. Hold him at a reasonable distance. Oh, nicely done. Snack some potions and get the stagger chain going, and... Look at the consistency of my arrow shots. Alright. 200 gold out of that. I would take the steel plate. I'm telling you, if I was a heavy armor user, I'd wear a steel plate. It looks the coolest. I don't care what anybody says. Let's take a break. Heal up. But yeah, so I'm doing all kinds of changes in that Pokemon ROM, and right now I'm in the process of basically j figuring out what the heck I'm going to do about all of it. And uh, I'm not sure... I have to come up with a whole bunch of original Pokemon, because there's no like fire-water combination or anything like that. Hello, sir. You look like a Stormcloak to me. Are you a Stormcloak? Ma'am. Excuse me. What do you want, I've had that problem a lot lately. Hello. I'm just going to waltz right in here because I am the leader of this entire army, pretty much. They even gave me the bear hat. So I can just stroll on in and nobody minds. I love it. That's cool. We may, be, we may have even had a... Well, no. I guess we wouldn't have had a quest to take over that fort. or We would have had the marker on our map already. So it's just another fort. Well, actually, it might be one we already had. No, it wouldn't, because White Run was under the power, uh, under the control of the Imperials, I think, at the beginning of the game. So maybe I should knife this person, or I could just, I could probably just use the bow. All right, let's get our silent bow. Let's see if I can. Oh. La -da 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 -da. <laughs> you didn't see anything. All right, let's try. Oh yes, go to bed, please. <laughs> I love when NPCs are just really, really weird. Oh, detected. Oh, hidden. All right. Critical strike. I wonder why. In the face, man. 
That was easy enough. She doesn't have anything on her. I don't at all regret not pickpocketing her. Look at all the... Look at the burr! Yeah! One of the guys that I work with has a strange interest in bears. I wouldn't... Actually, I would. I would go so far as to call it as an obsession with bears. I don't really know why. It's it's yet to be explained. I think he might just relate to them because he's like six foot four, two hundred and thirty pounds. He's a big guy. Much like this orc here. Uh who also probably relates to bears because he even has the bushy bushy beard. Which I think all bears would enjoy. Talking about their bushy bushy beard. You ever think about that? You ever think about how the fur on on like animals that have fur all over their whole bodies? The part of their fur that's underneath their chin? That's a beard. You just can't really tell because it doesn't look like a beard because there's hair all around it, too. It's a beard, man. Next time you look at your dog, you're going to be like, my dog has a beard I never knew. <laughs> yeah, so this guy has a strange obsession with bears. and uh, Every time he writes his name on a name tag or something, he draws a bear print next to it. Never seen anything like it. I think it's hilarious, but I don't understand it at all. I really have no idea what he's doing with it. I, I'm hoping that eventually there'll be some sort of joke, or like he'll maybe for Halloween he'll be a bear or something. I'm, I'm hoping that something really hilarious will come out of this. And as it as it happens, I'll continue to watch and enjoy. <laughs> yeah, returning to the Pokemon idea, I uh, I have right now I'm in kind of like the design phase. And it's harder than I thought, because I'm, I'm my big problem is, and this is what I want information about, I'm going to put this in a, in a vlog as well, uh, I need to get it such that physical and... There it is, it's glowing again. Maybe it glows whenever you enter the area. I need to get it so that physical and special attacks are differentiated by attack and not by type. But I'm trying to do a hack of Pokemon Fire Red, which doesn't intuitively support that, so I'm, I'm trying to figure out, is it possible to hack the the special physical split from Gen 4 into a Gen 3 game? I don't know. If you know about that, let me Will know, there please. Ever Hello. Come a time when the people of Skyrim Highness know is dead. Don't worry, my friend. I'll spare you the facetious quip about killing a defenseless old woman. Well, it's twice in this quest line, so I really don't Infiltrating mind. Infiltrating an occupied military fort and making it out in one piece is nothing to joke about. Well done. I wouldn't exactly call it Your infiltrating. For services rendered. Yes, put it in the cup. Good job, sir. I'm not going to ask for any more contracts. That's enough for now. In the next episode, we are going to return to the Thieves' Guild and meet Mercer Frey outside of Snow... Uh, I can't remember. Snow Fort? Snow something. Snowvale Sanctum, Carlia's last known location. Thanks for watching. See you guys then.